run, hide, fight. Those are three things that we want people to do in an active shooter type situation. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you were at a fair or a sporting event and someone took out a gun and started shooting? It's a situation we may not want to think about, but mentally preparing for an active shooting may very well increase our chances of survival. What would I do if I were out with my family? We were at Market Fest or we're at the beach. Where would I go? On a cold and windy spring morning, we met up with White Bear Lake Police Officer Tracy Menarchak at West Park, a location for summertime celebrations to talk about imagining the unimaginable. Sometimes when we are in the middle of chaos, our brains just shut down and we do nothing. And so we don't want you to do nothing. We want you to have a plan. We want you to run first, hide if you have to, and then look around you for weapons to fight with. According to the FBI, there have been 277 active shooter incidents in the United States from 2000 to 2018. 884 people were killed and more than 1,500 wounded. 2017 saw the highest number of casualties due to the worst mass shooting on the Las Vegas Strip, resulting in 58 deaths and 546 injuries. And just last month, 10 people were shot dead in Boulder, Colorado, including a police officer. Active shooters want to have the most damage. They want to kill the, the highest number of people. And as responding police, my job coming into a park like this is to stop the threat, stop the shooter. Officer Menarchek points out local law enforcement will arrive first, as she said, to stop the threat. They won't tend to the injured or talk to bystanders. She says if you want to help, make sure you have detailed and accurate information to convey to dispatch. If you're somewhere with children, like a park, help get them to safety. And if you can help the wounded, only do so if you're not in the hot zone. White Bear Lake Police and Fire Departments provide CERT training, a community emergency response team to volunteers, a potentially valuable resource during any emergency. If you have to fight, you have to fight. Officer Menarchek says most things we carry, a purse, keys, hands, can be used as a weapon. And if your only option is to fight, be aggressive and commit. The Department of Homeland Security advises recruiting others to ambush the attacker and be prepared to cause severe or deadly injury. FEMA also provides active shooter conversation starters on their website. However an active shooter situation ends, it really begins with being aware of what's happening around you. And just the mindset of, of you're going to win and you're going to survive and you're going to get out of here instead of the mindset of, oh my gosh, what's going on, I don't know what to do, and just standing there. We want you to have a plan. 